I have a personal announcement, and that is that I hate periodic trends. But you have to know them probably, so I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you my little tricks for not having to actually do a whole lot of memorizing. Okay, when it comes to the periodic table, each of the different atoms has a different electronegativity. How are you going to predict, or how are you going to memorize where the highest electronegativity is and where the lowest electronegativity is and what the trend is? Here you go. Electronegativity. F has the highest electronegativity. So, the closer it is to F, the more electronegative it is. See? F is here in the top corner. I don't think my camera can focus when it's that close. F is up here in the top corner. If you're asked whether calcium over here or aluminum is more electronegative, electronegative, the one closer to F is more electronegative. Piece of cake. You only have to know what the numbers are. The same goes for atomic radius. When it comes to atomic radius, HE which is kind of in the same corner as F, HE is the smallest. By extension, if HE is smallest, these are the biggest. And this one down here, francium or francium, FR is actually the biggest. So if you're asked which atom is bigger and they ask you between, I don't know, calcium and aluminum, well, calcium is closer to the big area. Calcium is bigger. Piece of cake. Ionization energy can be trickier. Remember, ionization energy is the amount of energy it takes to remove an electron. Which atoms really want to give up electrons? These ones. It's not going to take a whole lot of energy for these to get ionized. Which atoms don't want to lose an electron? Well, definitely the noble gases because they already have a full outer shell. And even the halogens because if anything, they want to gain an electron to have that full outer shell. The last thing they want to do is give it up. So what I would say there for ionization energy is that HE has the largest ionization energy. That's going to give up, oh no, rather, it takes a lot of energy to remove an, uh, an electron from that. Doesn't take a whole lot to remove it from down here. So if you were asked about the ionization energies of, say, calcium and aluminum, calcium is going to give up its electron easier it will have a lower ionization energy. And electron affinity is the amount of energy released when an electron is added to an atom. Which atoms are hungriest for electrons? The answer is halogens. Halogens would kill to have that extra electron. What I like to think is that F has the highest electron affinity. Boy, francium does not have an affinity for electrons. Now, there is one caveat to electron affinity. They classify it in with periodic trends. This electronegativity trend, really strong. Like, like if you looked at a table of electronegativities, it's a clear trend and it clearly increases as you get closer to fluorine. Atomic radius clearly gets smaller as you go this way. Ionization energy, there are a few exceptions, but in general, ionization energy increases as well. Electron affinity, this is pushing it. This isn't like, electron affinities are kind of all over the place. But I guess in general, you have higher ones in this area and lower ones in this area. Again, lots of exceptions, you have to suck that up. But this is how I like to remember what the periodic trends are. Electronegativity is highest here. HE is small, like these are the smallest atoms. They have the highest ionization energy. 
and the highest electron affinities. Good luck.